states can defy the federal government over marijuana, we can defy the federal government saving babies and not killing them anymore. Ignore Roe and defy it! Arizona, Oklahoma, Texas, South Carolina are all happening by March. And it's the pro-life industry that has fought against all of these. The pro-choice movement had barely needed to lift a finger. The pro-life movement has failed to build upon the solid rock. They have built their objections to abortion on sinking sand. There is only one abolition bill in the state of Texas, and that is HB 3326 by State Representative Brian Slayton. Filed the bill, and the head of the Church of Satan is against me. So I guess that's how you know we're on the right side of this one, huh? Where's the pro-choice and the pro-aborts here today? Where are they? Nowhere to be found because they cannot sustain an argument against us. Good afternoon. Uh, I'm humbled to be here that God would use a, a sinner like me, so thank you for coming. And thank you for all of you that are here to fight for the preborn. This is a fight that we must have because God commands it. We have to protect the children being taken away to the slaughter. It's in his word. We can't, we can't deny it. We can't ignore it. This is an issue the church must engage in first and foremost. This is also an issue that each state must start to fight one state at a time. This is not a federal issue. Roe v. Wade is not law, and we have to recognize that. <laughs> Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas recently said a year ago, the Constitution does not constrain the state's ability to regulate or even prohibit abortion. They do not have the right to tell each state what to do. We do not need the federal government's permission. And if you don't believe me, Ask California, Colorado, Arizona, and the other 30 states that smoke pot. I'm not saying that that's necessarily a good idea, but I am saying this, that states can defy the federal government over marijuana. We can defy the federal government saving babies and not killing them anymore. Now, as Christians, as believers, we can give the government, the federal government, a chance to right their wrongs. And I believe that we need to. But that doesn't mean we stop fighting, and the fight starts right now. We are here to support Representative Slayton's bill, HB 3326. We have a similar bill in Arizona, and we just introduced one in South Carolina. Besides Texas, Arizona, and South Carolina, Action for Life, who our main goal is to end abortion, to abolish it, not incrementalize it, not give them what they want, but to end it. Hit delete, close up shop, go home. We are in other states, including and here's a list, so I gotta read it off the cue card. Alaska, Idaho, Colorado, South Dakota, Kansas, Missouri, Indiana, Oklahoma, 26 other states that we're fighting in to do this same exact thing that you're doing here. Rallying the church and speaking truth into the culture. We have to hold our elected officials accountable. If we don't hold them accountable, no one will. They work for us, they're auditioning for us, and they have to understand that. This abomination must end. Go out. Talk to your state reps, go in there today to this beautiful building and tell them to do what is right, to uphold the laws, to uphold and say that Roe v. Wade is unconstitutional and that we need to protect these babies. So go out, support HB 3326. Thank you for your time. God bless you all and let's save these babies.